of the season to rugby at the Minot State Dome. The Miners have not lost since. Jeremy Brandt's team takes an 11 game winning streak into what is usually one of the more fun matchups in Region 7. Trinity is hosting Beulah tonight in the Queen City. With Beulah trailing 59 56 end of the game. Miners work the ball over to Trace Beauchamp from that left corner. He hits it. It's tied 59 all and we're headed to overtime. Here's the Titans. Jake Shobe. He had a big night. Scored 33 drives to the basket there. It's 70 69 with 10 seconds left in that first OT. Beauchamp works the ball up the court and he would score it. He had a 24 point night with one second remaining. Last chance for Trinity. It's not going to happen. And Beulah wins it. 71 to 70 was your final in overtime. Exciting game in the Queen City. Well, the West, West Region Boys Basketball Tournament is only three weeks away, so the Class A teams are looking to ramp up with the playoffs fast approaching. The St. Mary's Boys are coming off a win. The Bismarck High Boys coming off a loss. But the Demons wasted no time getting the offense going, and the offense tonight was that guy, Andre Austin, working his way inside, getting the bucket. He's having a really good year for the sophomore. The Saints, though, would start to uh, take the lid off the basket midway through the first. Jacob Gettle will work it inside after his team hit some outside points to open up the middle. He had a 17-point night. We go back to Austin. He had a team-high 18 as the Demons win it by the final of 82-69. to Elsewhere in the WDA, check out that one. Williston's third win of the year is Mandan's third loss of the year. Legacy goes to Jamestown and wins by 10. The Carrington boys beat EKM. It was Alex uh, Ritterath and Washburn topping Hedegar Scranton in a close game. The uh, Skyhawks beat the Honkers 74-60, to but I had a PB over the the Lobos by 14. Standing Rock beats Wilton Wing tonight and Washburn 62-59 over Hedinger Scranton. The Bismarck girls are after their 13th win of the year. The Saints win would be their ninth second half here. Demons leading by double digits. Peyton Newmiller ahead to Morgan Johnson Colbert as she would score it. Then here's uh, New Miller trying to help the Demons keep some uh, gas on, a uh, foot on the gas there. She passed 1,000 points in her career last week. She hits that one. Saints, though, trying to go on a little mini run here late stages. Lydia Spees would score it, but Bismarck would extend it and win it by the final of 81 to 66. The Legacy Girls make it a sweep over in Jamestown. Mandan wins the first game up in Williston. Number six and number seven, Shiloh over Garrison by 15. It was Center Stanton beating New Salem Elmont 51-38. But Ina PB and District 6 topping South Border tonight. Napoleon Gackle Streeter also moves on to the semifinals with a win over Strasburg Zealand. Beulah's Girls over New England by 13. Washburn was a bucket better than Flasher. Grant County Mott Regent 48-25 uh, over Hedegar Scranton and RT beats Wilton Wing 68 to 57. If Legacy wins its 11th straight boys hockey game tonight, the Sabres jump to the top of the standings in the WDA. The Sabres just two points behind Minot. First period here, Jamison Johnson has it for Legacy, sends it across to Matthew Souther, and Souther has a chance it goes wide. A good scoring chance for the Sabres, though, did not happen. Second period now. The Magicians on a two-on-one breakaway. Eli Hansen gets the return pass and scores the first goal of the game, which turns out to be the only goal of the game. So Minot takes it by the final tonight of one to nothing. The Century Boys beat Botano Rugby. The Dickinson girls take a shootout over Jamestown, and Dickinson wins its own invitational in gymnastics with Century in second place. They are right next to each other in the Mondak standings. BSC hosting Botano tonight. This is the men's matchup. Botano with an excellent Excellent start to this game, got a double digit lead early on, and we built it by 10, and they would go on to win it tonight. The final here was 82 to 70. BSC wins the first one. In men's basketball, UND and NDSU both win. It's a split on the women's side. Omaha beats the Bison, UND beats Denver, and Victoria Murillo wins another swimming.